I'm fucking sweating, bro. I'm sweating. I'm like, I was like dripping sweat because um, <clears throat> I was laying on the couch because my, my feet hurt because I'm like developing flat feet, which is weird because when you look at my feet, they have um, the arch and they don't look messed up at all, but it's when I stand, they get like completely flat. Um, and it like started hurting and I think I got it from standing too much at work, but I was laying down and Willie was like sleeping. And then my mom called me and she said that she has food that she got from some place and she was passing by my apartment and she came by to bring the food. And like the only time my mom's been here while Willie has been here was when, we, when I first got him. And he was like a puppy. And any other time other than that, he's only seen my mom at my mom's house. At my parents' house. That's the only time he's ever seen my mom. He hasn't seen her like anywhere else. Unless she brought him somewhere. Then obviously, yeah. But other than that, he has not seen her anywhere other than than her house. So... We go, I go outside and I let Willie come to, to get the food that she brought. And Willie like short circuited because it's like when you see your teacher like at the grocery store, and, but you think they lived at the school. Like it was like that. Like he got all like, he got like zoomies. So, and she like got them all hyper too. So that was it. I got the food and then she left. And then he's, he got like, freaking zoomies and he like ran up the stairs ran back down um started like doing like laps and stuff like that so i was like okay i gotta make this kid run so i got on my skate i got my skateboard and i ran him around not like just the block like the big block like down the main road until the last stoplight at the main road Took a right, took a right down that main road, all the way down to the last stoplight, took a right again, and then brought him. And this kid was still like, like at the apartment, when he saw the apartment back in view, he like started zooming towards it. Like he was already tired from the walk. And then he just started like zooming towards the apartment because he thought like my mom would be there. And he just started zooming towards the apartment. Then I let him in the fence, took his leash off within the backyard. And then he managed to get back out. And he just started like doing laps around the neighborhood, like full on sprinting around the neighborhood. And usually when that happens and I call him and he doesn't come, um, I'll just go get him. Like I'll, I'll literally like just follow him until I get him and then over time he's learned that like when I say here um I'm gonna get him so it's either like he can just come and get rewarded or I'll just go get him over time and he's learned that pretty well for the most part but he literally like short-circuited and like freaking ran away um by the way even even when I even though he's gotten the recall pretty much set um when he's not going nuts i still keep him on a leash all the time and at the park i still keep him on a, on a long line so i'm not just relying on like his recall um even if i thought he had perfect recall i think i'd still put him on a long line because you never know if he's gonna like run into something dangerous or something or if he's gonna go into like the street or there's another dog and you gotta pull him or something like that but I usually just like walk, like follow him, just walk, walk. And I'll just keep walking towards him. And then eventually he'll corner himself. Then I'll just grab him. And I bring him back to where I originally called him. And then, yeah. And then he he just like learns over time that I'm going to get him every time. But this time, I think something about like um, being loose, like... 
in with like in a place where he's usually like only sees from like the car window or something like that because when i when i put him in the car he doesn't like he doesn't really go around the neighborhood like what i mean by that is like when i walk him i'll take like the same route every time and when i like go in the the car i live on a one way so i'll go the same way every time so i think it was like when he he thought he was like um he was like exploring like this whole new thing he's like never seen before and he he thought it was like a whole game so i was like freaking chasing him and this kid was running in the street and everything he was running from like street to street to street i thought he was gonna start running to the main road but he didn't and and then i had to like block cars from coming that look mad confused as to like what i was doing because they usually just speed walk but because he was like trying to run into the street i was trying to because he was just running away i was trying to like chase him in, in the direction where he wouldn't run in the street, where he would end up in, like, the parking lot that's near me. And then these two random people that, like, lived near me, some, like, lady and guy, they were like, do you want do you want us to, to watch the other side? Or no, they were like, we'll watch the other side because the fence, there's a parking lot with the fence with two, um, two entrances. And they stood there, and he still just did laps for a bunch. And then finally, um, like, the magic freaking trio, we, like, kind of cornered him. And then he tried going under a sedan, but he's too fat. And then I just grabbed him by his floppy skin. It didn't hurt him. I just grabbed him by his floppy skin and then walked him back. And I was like, thank you. <laughs> and I'm... I'm sweating because I was chasing him. His heart was beating so fast. He thought it was like a whole game. And he's tired from it because he's like here now, just chilling, chewing this bone. And never mind. Now that I stared at him, he started crying. Let me turn this TV off real quick. Oh, I can probably do it from my phone, I think. It's like a smart TV. <clears throat> but yeah, that was like the the first time ever that he just like wait, let me turn it off. But yeah, that was like the first time ever that he just like fucking ran like that. He's like never done that before. Um, it sucked. I hated it. Um, it's never going to happen again because he's going to be like on lockdown now. Like anytime I bring him out, I'm going to have him like on a leash now. I didn't think he would like freaking jump the fence, but he did. But yeah, um, yeah, I got him in um, New Jersey because I wanted, I was, when I was deciding what dogs to get, it was like a weird balance because I live in an apartment. So I was looking for what would be better, like a dog that's better for like living in an apartment or a dog that's, um, or a dog that's more, like, fit to my life. And I did a bunch of research, and the one that was, m like, most fit to my life was, like, either a Greyhound or a Weimaraner. And a Greyhound mostly because they're, it's good for an apartment. And although they're very fast, 
exercising them isn't nearly as much as a Weimaraner or as much as most um, dogs. Um, and a Weimaraner was good because of like how I'm always kind of like out doing something and like usually outside and, and pretty active. Um, so I went with the Weimaraner and I was like, my neighbor has one and I was looking at like different places where I could get them, but all of them like didn't have any available and there was no like rescues available either. So I found one person in New York who had Weimaraner puppies and I mean, New Jersey and I messaged and there was multiple times already where I've messaged people and they either didn't have them or they had them. And then the next thing I know, someone else like reserved it or something like minutes later or like not minutes, let's say like a day or two later. So I found one in New Jersey and I was like, cool, let me put a deposit down. And I like made sure he was legit and put a deposit down. And then I was supposed to get him on like a Sunday. But then the Sunday, that weekend, there was going to be a, like, snowstorm. So I ended up having to go Thursday. And I was supposed to go with Lennox Thursday at, like, I was supposed to be there at 9 a.m. But Lennox woke up late or something, and there was, like, a problem with his dog, I think. So we ended up, like, leaving at, like, like 8 or something. We were supposed to leave, like, much earlier than that. But we ended up like, just pushing the time forward, and then I got there at 11, and then the guy, I got there, and he was like, he was like, hey. And then he goes to, like, the corner, and there's just one, there's just one pup there. Because Willie was the last male pup. There was, I think, two females. But there was just the last pup there in the corner. And he, like, goes up to him, and he picks him up, like, fucking, like, how Simba gets picked up. He just picked him up like that, and Willie's hands were just, like, floppy. And um, he just, like, picks him up, and then he sniffs him, and he goes... He, like, sniffs him just like an object. <laughs> he goes, he needs a bath. And then he just, like, handed him to me like that. Like, he just goes, he needs a bath, and hands him. And I was like... Okay, and then um, I picked him up and, like, gave him to Lennox, and then Lennox held him, and then I paid the guy, and then we got in the car, and he was mad, like, overstimulated because there was just so much stuff he's never seen before, and he was so small. And then, um, and he had, like, this green bandana thing on his neck, and then, um, fucking... That was it. And then we just, from that moment, like, on. But, like, from that moment, I, it was like, I started training him and, like, te like started just kind of treating him like, like the dog I knew he would become. So I was just, I was already getting him used to, like, the types of commands I would say and things of that nature. And I was saying, um... I was already telling him like his bathroom command when whenever he would go to the bathroom we had to stop like a lot just so that he could go to the bathroom. And then um in in one part Lennox like I went on a, on a bump or something and Lennox fucking dropped him in the car and like his fucking head hit like the I'm probably going to get like fucking canceled. His head his head hit like the stick shift thing and I was like Lennox what the fuck and he was like he's slippery. And um, that's, like, the story I'll never forget where Lennox dropped him. And he's just, like, bunk. It made, like, the Looney Tune sound effect. Um, and now he's, like, that's what, probably why he ran away now. He lost, he got a, a bit crazy since then. But, yeah, then I brought him back. And my parents didn't know I got him. And I I got home. And then the next morning... Cause I put him in his crate at that night. Yeah. I got back at night. Yeah. And then the next morning, um, I 
like FaceTime or like video called my dad and just like put the camera on Willie. And he was like, he was like, what is that? This gets crazy. And then I showed, he showed my mom and my mom goes, Sander, I'm coming now. And it was funny because she always told me not to get one, not to get a puppy. Um, but when I, when she saw him, she was like, I'm coming now. My house is like 15 minutes away from theirs. She made it in like three and she was here like immediately just like appeared in my apartment. Like my dad was already like in the area and came by. And then my mom like came in like at like seconds after he came in. And she, I, I think she was like, like at home and she just like appeared. That's like what moms do. She appeared and then, yeah. But yeah, other than that one time, that's the only time uh, Willie's ever seen my mom in here. So he like short circuited when he saw her. It was like he couldn't put the two together that she also can drive a car and also like appear in, at this apartment. But yeah, he's fine now. If I make too high contact too long, he's like an Enderman. Like he'll start freaking out. Um, oops. But yeah, and then since then, like his training's like good, but everything, the only stuff that's bad with him is his separation anxiety, and because he's a puppy, I don't know. He's he's also just kind of fucking crazy. Um. Maybe not because he's a puppy. They're known to be like crazy, like a crazy breed. But he's not untrained. He's not fully trained yet, definitely. But he's not, he's not like, like super poorly trained. And I am getting professional training soon too. So it's like, but he has all his commands. He knows what the commands are. Now it's just getting them to the point where they're like on lock. It's like, it's like being able to do a kickflip, but like you gotta be able to do it every time. So like he's now it's just him getting it on lock. Um But yeah, because it's like when I call him, it's like he knows what it is now. But it's like whether is he gonna come or not. And recall doesn't matter at all because his recall is perfect any other day, but recall doesn't matter at all if it's gonna happen. If he's going to ignore it when, like, he wants to run in the street. Because, like, what's the point of recall if you can't stop your dog from running into the street? So, yeah, that's why um, I taught him what the things are, but he's getting professional training soon, too. Um, starting Friday. But, yeah, um, he's fucking crazy. Some random lady just, like, caught him. I held him by his flaps, too. Like, his skin flaps. It was the only way. Because he didn't have the collar on. Because I didn't, I really, I didn't think he was going to run away from the fence. But, yeah. Um, and he was about to go in his crate. And he doesn't wear his collar in his crate. Because he can, like, it's dangerous. Because he can get caught in something. And they can, like, choke and fucking die. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, yeah, I gotta wake up early tomorrow, so I don't even know what I'm, I'm probably gonna have to like lock because he got out of his crate today because he has separation anxiety too. So, part of his training that he's getting is for separation anxiety, which is common in these breeds to the point where he will manage to get out of a locked crate. Like, he got out of a crate that was locked without even unlocking it. He just squeezed through it, and his eyes hurt right now because he squeezed through a crate um, while I was gone. And I was This is the part where everyone's like, well, why'd you put him in his crate for 10 hours? Or, like, why are you punishing him by putting it? No, he goes in the crate every time, like, every day at the same time. And it's not like, oh, I, I'm, I need a babysitter. Let me put him in his crate. It's like... He goes in the crate at the same time every day. He's in the crate right now because he goes in the crate at the same times every day. So like, but 
like sometimes he'll just like realize I'm gone. Sometimes he won't process it. Like if his if his chew toy is intriguing him enough, he won't process it. Or if he really just is like accepting the fact that he's tired, he won't process it. But like today, and this is the second time this has happened. Today I I exercised him um by making him run around the block, the big block I mentioned earlier. And then I ended up in the park and I played fetch with him for one hour. So that's two hours of exercise. And he was so tired that he couldn't he couldn't even stay like awake when I was like in the apartment just getting ready to put him in the crate. Like he couldn't even stay awake. And he didn't even want to like do like he didn't want to like um good boy. He didn't even want to like jump on the bed because it was just like too much energy. He just like decided to like start sleeping on like the ground. And um Willie, calm down. Oh, this got shipped already. What a liar, bro. Oh, never mind. Sorry, I ordered something on eBay and then I tried to cancel it and the, instead of canceling my request, the eBay person just shipped it, which is like fucked up. But uh, I guess it's fucked up to order something and cancel it right after. But it was, I canceled it like instantly after. Like it was like seconds after because I like realized it was the wrong thing. And it wasn't like, oh, I wanted the blue shoes, but I bought the red, but it was like a wire, like a wiring harness. And I realized it was, like, the wrong thing. Like, it was, like, yeah. Um, but, yeah. Then um, I left. And he was falling asleep in the crate, too. He was, like, so tired because I, he, he exercised so much. And then as soon as I left, he just starts screaming. And um, just screaming. And then... I was at work and I checked my my uh, phone to see if he was still crying because last time he stopped crying after like 30 minutes. I checked to see if he was still crying on the camera and the camera was disconnected. And then I checked to see um, what the temperature was in the room because I, I wanted to be like not too hot in there and the thermostat was disconnected. So I was like, did this motherfucker escape and knock over the router? And is he like filming a podcast right now? So I told Rosie, <coughs> who was at, was going to go to Pet Smart with her pet, her cat. And I was like, I think he got out and like knocked over the router or some shit and is like filming a podcast and he's going to like take over the series. And then she went. And this motherfucker wasn't filming a podcast. He was fucking in the room and like a mouse chewed because the wires are in there. Not only like he was in his crate that was locked. He squeezed out of it, scratched his eye on the way out, which is scratched up right now. It's not permanent, but he scratched his eye. He got out and he chewed the fucking the first the power line for the thermostat. And then he chewed the Nest the Nest security camera wire. So that's why I thought the Wi-Fi went out. Because he chewed two, like, things that, like, I used through Wi-Fi. And I was just like, oh, they're disconnected. But they were literally disconnected from power. Because he ate the power. Didn't you, Willie? He looks proud. But he, he ate the power. And then he was just in the bed after so, um, and I noticed whenever he does end up escaping, cause I used to, I didn't have a crate for a while and I would put him in a, in a, in this room I have back there with, um, and no, it's not like a fucking dungeon. It's like, it looks like a fucking studio apartment in New York city. 
like he's in his room and I put like a baby gate and he would get out of that. And the things he does w- once he gets out is either attack the door, which has a hole in it now. And I'm going to have to fix that, either fix it or take it out of my deposit. Um, But he either does that or he does shit that I do when I'm here. So if he notices that like when people are here, they're on the couch a lot or like, um, if he sees that I sleep on the bed or if he sees that like I'm on the computer or like on this chair, um, I'll get here and everything will be destroyed. First of all, like there will be like shit everywhere. Like he'll like eat, like destroy cereal boxes that he found and like stuff like that. And then he'll just be fucking sitting like on my computer desk, like writing a fucking essay. Or, like, coding a Squarespace website. Not sponsored. Like, he'll be doing shit that he sees me do. So, I don't know, like, what the, like, science behind it is. But it's just, it's, he's, like, doing sh- He thinks I'm going to, like, appear like a genie if he, like, rubs my keyboard. um, And he'll just sit there. And, and then wait until I'm back. And then when I'm back, it's funny because, like... The whole fucking place will be destroyed and he'll just be sitting there like wagging his tail. And usually dogs are guilty in those fucking videos. He's not guilty. He doesn't even know what he did. He's just happy that that someone's here now. Um, But yeah, that's the reason I'm getting a a trainer. Um, Yeah. Because he's crazy. Um, For now. And my my fear is that, like, the trainer... Because trainers kind of... I don't know anything about trainers. But they're kind of reminding me of videographers where anyone can call themselves that. And I'm scared that, like... Because someone will be like, I'm a video... I'm a, I'm a movie maker. And then... They'll show up and they'll fucking have, like, a... Like, some... I don't know. Have no experience and they just lied. And they're just like, I don't know. I feel like someone could have trained like their family's dog and be like, I'm a trainer. While there's like other people who are like super qualified. So my fear is that the person's not going to be able to teach Willie how to like be alone. And I don't, I don't mean like he fucking cooks himself dinner and shit. I mean, be alone for like fucking 30 minutes without like screaming or like fucking digging a hole inside my like wood floors. Um... That's what I mean. My fear is that, like, the person's going to fail at doing that and I'm going to get charged and they're going to be like, because you didn't do it right. You didn't apply the knowledge. Because I'm going to apply everything they say. Like, the, like it was, like, my destiny. And, like, it's my job. And if it doesn't work, I'm going to be pretty disappointed. But also, if it doesn't work, I won't blame them. I'm, gonna, I'm probably just going to try someone else. And if that doesn't work, maybe try someone else. But if, but really, realistically, the separation anxiety is a real thing, and sometimes it has it like needs like a vet to like uh, give them stuff that they need, like CBD or something, which I don't really want to do. That's like last thing, but at the same time, like just like a human can't have like insane anxiety, and and they try to exercise and try to like hobbies and shit like that, and like restorative practices. Um, if that doesn't work when all else fails, they have to like get like medical attention for it. And I hope it doesn't get that far with them. Hopefully the trainer just like gives him a Game Boy and he just plays that while I'm gone. Um, I hope. But yeah, that's the story on, uh, on Willie the Wime and, uh, why I'm going to get a trainer for him. Thanks for listening. Today's podcast was about myself because, um, I don't think there was someone that could have done it.
Yeah, no one else could have done it. It was just me. But yeah. Ooh.